This is the Checkpoints, hosted and co-hosted by Elena Kwanchilashvili and myself. I'm Georgi Sakadze. Already traditionally, we have gathered together to talk about business and economics. Sunday, 10 um, p.m. is the time for the Checkpoints indeed. And speaking of COVID, um, one more update here is that the executive board of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, completed um, the seventh review of Georgia's economic reform program, supported by a four-year extended arrangement under the extended fund facility. The completion of the review will release SDR um, 79 million or about uh, 114 million USD to help Georgia meet balance of payments needs stemming from the COVID-19 shock. Total disbursements so far under the arrangement amount to SDR 406 million or about uh, 585 million USD. Yeah, and the following the executive board uh, discussion Mr. Tao Zhang, IMF Deputy Managing Director and Chair, made the following statement that Georgia faces a pronounced economic slowdown due to the COVID-19 pandemic despite the successful containment uh, of the first wave of the pandemic. The recent rising cases has required new measures that could weaken the recovery. Risks are large and mostly to the downside. According to Mr. Zhang, the National Bank of Georgia has appropriately maintained a moderately tight monetary stance to anchor inflation expectations while safeguarding exchange rate flexibility. Inflation pressures have abated the output gap, widened, and the nominal effective exchange rate stabilized. The tight monetary policy stance and continued foreign exchange intervention may need to be sustained to prevent disorderly market conditions and bring inflation towards the 3% target. Macroeconomic policy, discipline and donor support is expected to keep foreign exchange reserves at an adequate level. The proactive monitoring of financial risks and actions to preserve banks' capital until the economy rebounds would support the recovery. Uh, Georgi, to further continue Mr. Zhang's arguments, the IMF believes that the fiscal response to the pandemic has helped alleviate its adverse economic and social impact with higher health care spending targeted and temporary support to households and businesses and sustained public investment. The 2021 budget will further support the economic recovery while um, starting fiscal consolidation consistent with Georgia's fiscal rule. The authorities' proactive monitoring of fiscal risks stemming from power purchase agreements and state-owned enterprises are expected to help safeguard debt sustainability. Plans to reform state-owned enterprises will help to improve the efficiency of the public sector. This is another um, emphasis of the uh, statement. One more highlight is that decisive implementation of structural reforms is critical to support the recovery and limit scarring from the COVID-19 shock. Mobile investment, advancing education reform, implementing the new insolvency framework, developing the local capital uh, market and judiciary reforms would further improve the business environment and support private sector-led growth. Performance under the IMF-supported program remains satisfactory. The EFF arrangement has helped support the authorities' policies to limit the economic impact of the pandemic. Um, I will remind um, our viewers that these are the words of Mr. Tao Zhang, IMF Deputy Managing Director and Chair of the Executive Board. Hey guys, stay tuned, subscribe and follow us on BMG.